Hello friends, this video on coordination compound part 25 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. You have to write the IUPAC name for this. Let's start with this. So this is cation. This is ion. Why? This is negative 3 charge. Put in each. This is plus 3 charge. First cation will write. Now cation is a complex. So first we'll write ligand. And then metal. So ligand there are 6 ammonia. So we'll write name as 6 ammonia is hexamine. Ammonia is done. Then we'll write cobalt. We'll write the charge of cobalt. So this is plus 3 charge. This is 0. So this will, host, this will also be plus 3 charge. You can do your maths. Then with the complex, then chloride. It is easy. Hexamine, cobalt 3, chloride. Next is this. Let's try this here. Again, this part is my cation, positive charge. This is neg negative charge, anion. First, we'll write cation. So, cation is this complex. So, first, we'll write in complex also, first, we'll write ligands. So, ligands we have here is ammonia, this amine, then we have chlorine, and then we have NO2, that is nitrito. And this is nitrito N. Alphabetically, it is already arranged. Need not worry. So let's start with amine. Four amine. So it will be what? Four amine will be tetra amine. I'm done with amine. Then single chlorine, chloro or chlorido, whatever you want, you can write. Then NO2. NO2 is what? Nitrito N. And then cobalt. Cobalt is a charge. So in this case, cobalt will have common charge. If you the value of x, this is 0, this is minus 1. Is minus one and this total has plus one charge. So you can actually do the maths. X plus ammonia is zero, chlorine is minus one, is minus one, and you can do plus one. Total cobalt comes out to be plus three charge. So put plus three here. And this is I'm done with the complex. The anion part is chlorine, so I like chlorine. Done with the name. Next is NiNH36Cl2. Here again, this is my cation part, this is an ion part, this is minus 2 charge, this is plus 2 charge. Right? To put in minus 2 charge, overall it has to be plus 2 charge to balance. In this case, nickel will have plus 2 charge because ammonia has 0 charge. This is something you can do the maths. Let's write the name first cation. So cation is a complex, in complex first ligand, only one ligand ammonia, 6 ammonia, so it is hexamine, and then nickel. Nickel with the charge, how much charge? 2, so nickel 2. Done with the complex, then chlorine, so light chlorine. So that is the name of this. Let's take more examples. Pt, NH3, Cl, NH2, CH3, Cl. So this whole thing is one complex. This is cation, this is anion. We can actually see because chlorine has one charge. This is cation, this is anion. First, we'll write the name of the cation. In cation, uh, in the cation, we have a complex, so we'll write first the name of ligand and then metal. So, ligand, what all we have? We have amine and we have chlorine. This is methylamine. Okay, so it's already in arranging order, so we will just write the name. How many amine? Two. Diamine. Then chlorine, chloro, or I can write chlorido. Then methylamine. This I can write in braces. And then platinum. What is the charge on platinum? You see, platinum will be plus 2 charge, plus 2, 0, minus 1, and 0 will give plus 1 charge overall. Platinum plus 2 charge. Done with the complex. Anion is chlorine. So I'll write. The next is MnH2O6 with the plus 2 charge. So here again, this is a cation itself. So I'll just write 6 water molecule, hexa aqua, and then Mn is manganese. And if you see the oxidation number of manganese is plus 2. And since it is a cation, I'll write iron here. And then COEN3, again with plus 3 charge, again this is a cation. So in this complex, we'll write the ligand first. Ligand is what? En, ethane, diamine. So I can ethane, diamine, 
And since there are three main, I can write this here. Electris, why? Because it's a di dented ligand, it's poly dented ligand. I have to write tris in this for two. Then done with the ligand in cobalt, charge in cobalt is plus three. This is iron. Okay, let's take uh, three more TiH2O6 3 plus. This is again iron, only ligand is water, so it is hexa. Aqua is the ligand, 6 water molecule. Then I have titanium. Charge of titanium will be plus 3 because overall charge is plus 3, water is neutral. And this is iron. Similar to this, NaCl4 2 minus. Here, the charge on nickel will be plus 2 because chlorine has minus 4 charge, minus 4 plus 2, minus 2 charge. So, 4 chlorine molecules, tetra, chloro, and then nickel. The nickel with charge of plus 2. This is iron, so it's iron. Last NiCO4, there's no charge anywhere. So, this 4 uh, carbonyl group here, ligand, tetracarbonyl. There's the nickel, charge on nickel is 0. This is the name of this compound. Okay. The question says how many geometrical isomers are possible for the following coordination entity. The first one is CrC2O4, 3, 3 minus. That means there are 3 C2O4. So this is, let's suppose this is a chromium. So there will be 3 C2O4. So let's attach this. Let's suppose this is uh, oxygen. This is oxygen. This is one bond. And form another bond like this. This is oxygen. This is oxygen. So it will be something like this. Okay, this is coming from the backward direction. Okay. Or I could have taken something like this. So typically, what you get is this is more of a three-dimensional picture I have drawn. I already have this three dimensional because. This is 6 ligands. 6 ligand is always tetrahedral, right? 3 ligands, each di dented. Coordination number is 6. So coordination number is 6, tetrahedral. Sorry, octahedral. Coordination number 6 is octahedral. And this is octahedral. Okay. So, in this case, if you see, there is no geometrical isomer possible because this, if you see, these are all same. And then if you draw something like this, typically they are same. It's just that you are being from different angle, right? So in all these cases, if you see, there are three bonds of this type where the angle is 90 degree. This key also you see like this. And this key also is like this, right? Because this tetrahedral you can view from here. You can view from here. You can view from anywhere. So, these are all the same. So, I can say there is no geometrical isomer possible for this case. Let's take the next case. Next case, if you see, there are three ammonia molecules, three chlorine molecules. Coordination number is again 6. Coordination number 6 is again octahedral. So, here let's see 3 chlorine and 3 ammonia. So, I can do one thing. I can put 2 ammonia in the extreme. Put 1 ammonia here. In the remaining place, I can put chlorine. Okay. So, in this case, there are two ammonia extreme. In the one case, I'll say that the ammonia will never be at extreme, they'll always be together. So, this is one ammonia. At 90 degree, I can find one more ammonia. At one more 90 degree, I'll find one more ammonia. So, three ammonias are all at 90 degree angle. And rest place, we can put chlorine. Okay. Is there any other geometrical isomers I can make? No. Why? See, let's suppose when, see we have two scenarios here. We should see from the angle perspective. So one scenario is your all NH3, NH3 bonds are at 90 degree and or CLCL also at 90 degree. Another is CLCL, NH3, may 180 degree. So in this case, if you see there is CLCL 180 degree. One. 
this case there is one ns3 ns3 one degree okay here if you see all cl cl bonds are empty and here all ns3 ns3 bonds are there is no other possibility you try you will not be able to make just try spend some time on this think over it and see if you can make one more possible isomers because see the moment you start from here let's suppose you start from here in ns3 and i have two more ns3 to put so i have two choice right i can put either both the ns3 here in that case both the ns3 are 90 degree to me or other ns3 or i can put one ns3 here it will be 180 degree the other ns3 has to be put in one of these four there is no other choice because there are only four because let's suppose the other ns3 i put here the only other possible option for me to put one ns3 in one of these and you put in even any of these is all same right because they are all symmetrical you can be if you from this angle this is the ns3 first ns3 if you put somewhere here then if you from view view from this angle this is the first ns3 view from this angle it becomes the first ns3 so they are all same they are all symmetrical right you can rotate this because i'm talking about geometric isomers i'm not talking about the optical isomers now right so that way there is no only one possible option of ns3 correct if you put ns3 here right you because this ns3 you put anywhere it's all same so if you put ns3 here there is only one possible of geometric isomers chlorine anyway you have to put in the remaining place same thing so if you have let's suppose this case you have put one ns3 here and the other ns3 you have put here if you put one ns3 here then you are in the same loop same game if you put another ns3 here then again you are giving a different isomers that is this one okay but instead of this if you put ns3 here then also it is all same you see two ns3 90 degree sorry two this ns3 two ns3 180 degree and these two ns3 are 90 degree same thing here 180 degree 90 degree so there are only two possible isomers you spend some time try to draw all figures and then you will see that you will not be able to draw because of the power of symmetry correct see if i am putting one ns3 here and the other ns3 i am putting here then if i put one ns3 here see i'll show you let me clear this let me do it once again because this is too tricky so let's suppose i put ns3 always here i can put anywhere right that is the first point i am focusing on arranging ns3 because chlorine i'll put in the last remaining place okay so one option of putting ns3 was here so if i put ns3 here second ns3 this is my first this is my second the third ns3 i have to put any of these right but any of these is all same if i put here 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 or here, it's all same you get the same figure so you get only one option right in second case i don't want to put here because if i put here i have to put ns3 in one of these and i get i've already drawn the figure for this so let's suppose i put the second ns3 here if i put second ns3 here i have the option of putting ns3 here 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 okay now what if i put one ns3 here if i put one ns3 here i get exactly same figure as this if you know what if i put one ns3 here the third ns3 here these two figures are all same from the geometrical isomer perspective i'm not talking about the optical isomers right if i put one ns3 here then two ns3 180 degree and other ns3 are 90 degree each same thing here so i can't put here so i have to put here here or here now if i put here i get this figure correct this is done let's start the third let's see if third possibility is there so this second ns3 i can put here because the second ns3 moment i put here third ns3 i have to put any of these i'll get this figure so let's try putting second ns3 here and see if i can get third ns3 better third ns3 i can't put here because the moment i put third ns3 here i can get the same figure if i put third ns3 here i'll get the same figure if i put third ns3 here let's see what happens if i put third ns3 here if you see again i am getting this figure will be equal to this figure. No, yeah, this figure, correct. Two NS three is one eighty degree and one ninety degree. Get this one as well. So if I put one NS three here, I'll get same figure as first. I can't put. I can't. Put. If I put NS three here, what will happen? One, two, three NS three R will be 
90 degree angle, it will be similar to this. So I can't put MS3 here also. That means these are the only two possibility I have because the rest molecules I have chlorine, they are all same. I put anywhere, it's all same. Had this been chlorine and some other molecule, then I have to take other combination. But since these are all same, I can just put them anywhere. It won't make any difference. So only two geometrical isomers possible for this. Okay. Let's take another example. Let's we have to draw the structure of this optical isomers of CrC2O4 3 3 minus. Please note we are talking about the optical isomers. So from geometrical isomers perspective, we have seen that this is the only possibility of CrC2O4 3 minus. We have just seen that right? because this will be some oxygen molecules here. This will be actually C2O4 C2O4. But this actually, if you take a mirror image, it will be non superimposable. If you draw a mirror image for this, it will be non superimposable. Okay. This and this will form a bond. This and this will form a bond, and this and this will form a bond. And these two are non superimposable. And that's why this will be dextro rotatory. Again, this is experimental value. And this will be labor rate. One will be dextro, one will labor. One will uh, deflect the polarized light in the left hand side, labor rotatory. One will deflect the polarized light in the right hand side, dextro rotatory. Okay. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos. Attend free online tests, get free study materials, find tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.